bro. That is really tough. Look, today we are back with another interesting video on this channel, as always, bro. And today we're gonna be checking out this video. Apparently, your boy CJ So Cool literally just got scanned by some gold digger, bro. Now that's really tough, honestly speaking. The video is called CJ So Cool Caught Tata Trying to Scam Him. Now she's in jail. That's tough, my boy. I don't know what's been going on with CJ So Cool, honestly speaking. All I've been seeing is that he has a bunch of different women on his channel. Ex-girl, this girl, that girl, baby mom this, baby mom that. Huh? I can't keep up with son. I really can't keep up with son. So honestly, this right here is it's just interesting to me. Because now he found himself in a position where a girl's trying to scam him. Out of all the girls that he's been fucking with in his past couple of videos, now one of them is trying to scam him. So I'm interested to see what's going on. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. But let's hop right into it, man. Let's see what's going on. Okay, guys. Of course, more drama with CJ So Cool. Now, apparently, this time, Tot... Yo, honestly, I fuck with Dior, but this outfit is kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. This little matching outfit is kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. But I fuck with the Dior, though. I'm not going to lie. I has scammed him, and she is in jail. Now, this is exactly why I was surprised that CJ was letting a girl that he barely knew stay the night at his house. You huh? never know what people's true intentions are. Now, I'm going to let him explain exactly what happened. As always, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Man, that was your first mistake right there, my boy. You can't just let any random girl. That's your sanctuary. Your crib is your sanctuary. You can't just let any girl stay in your crib, bro. Come on now. It's a real team. I should sit down. Man, is about to get caught? I know I got a new hairdresser, right? Damn. That caused a lot of drama last night. Not the hair lady, just after her. Me getting a new hairdresser caused a lot of drama. It made a lot of people come out and text me, but they already knew anyway. But they weren't gonna tell me. That's crazy. I'm gonna just keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it 1,000, man. Listen. If you follow Kiara cousin me, if you follow Tata cousin me, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm gonna tell you right now. My boy said, my boy said, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Las Vegas people are very, very different. I can't speak for the whole Las Vegas, but Las Vegas girls, the younger generation, what you mean by that, my boy? I, really like I really want to show y'all. But it's so crazy because it's like... It's crazy, man. So... Basically, Kiara, the hair lady, she introduced me to Tata, right? Come to find out... They've been planning on scamming me. <laughs> ain't that crazy? <laughs> now, when I mean scamming me, I ain't talking about no internet stuff. I'm talking about, like, going through my wallet, scamming me. We talking, taking pictures of my credit cards, my debit cards. The real scamming. That's crazy. I want y'all to go to... Yo, this is exactly why, bro. This is exactly why my boy's out here trusting any single female over here trying to get his ex royalty mad and shit. Come on, my boy. That's what you get. You over here trusting too many people. Right now, she ain't posted. Y'all know where she at. She in jail. That's crazy. Not even because of me, but she's in jail. She just called me from jail. It's crazy, bro. It's a lot of crazy stuff been happening. And I wasn't ready for this. So it's like... I called Royalty last night, like, you know what? I already said I was sorry, Royalty. I already been said I wanted him back. But now it's like, I need Royalty back to keep all this energy away from me. I don't want to meet nobody else new. I don't want to bring nobody else on my channel. I don't want to bring nobody else to my house. People looking at me like I'm the come up of the year. Like, oh, shoot, if we get around CJ, all we got to do is wait till we go to sleep. We can scam him, bro. That's tough. Like, they, 
Yo, imagine having to oh. imagine having to sleep with one eye open because the girl that you bring home thinking that you just vibing, clapping her shit, and now all of a sudden it's going through your wallet trying to take pictures of your credit cards. That could never be me, bro. You feel me? That could never be me. Like I told you, this crib is my sanctuary. I don't let me. I don't let people in here. You know what I'm saying the only really person that's really been in here is my shorty. Other than that, no one comes in this crib. Literally just me chilling. That's really it. For reasons well, like this, I don't trust girls, bro. I don't when trust girls. Yara got upset that I had a new hairdresser. You know what she started saying? She started telling on Tata. You better be careful around Tata. You better watch her dance that you fire at me. You better watch Tata. All I'm saying is you better be careful. So I'm like, it was really good. What you talking about? Tell me what you talking about. Stop shaking cold. Stop speaking in cold. But what she got to send in them screenshots of Tata? I damn near lost my mind, bro. It's like when you trust somebody, I don't even know why I trust it. I just freaking met That's me. That's all my fault. Oh, dear. That's I what just I'm trust saying. anybody. So I'm telling you, my boy. My deal you. of life is if I meet you, then it's a purpose. I don't feel like I just meet people on accident. People don't come into my life on accident. But I got to keep my circle small. It's a lesson. I'm going to pay you. Yeah, I was just saying that. I'm going to keep my circle like this. Like this. I'm not going to lie. I told the Tata, everybody know, to try to get back to royalty, right? Just like she talked to Funny Mike to try to get back to me. But I'm guaranteeing you Funny Mike didn't try to scam royalty. That's crazy. So, I'm over here getting the text messages from this girl, this girl about that girl, that girl about that girl. And I'm like, y'all both in on it. Both of y'all was trying to scam me that. So, it seems like, I don't know, bro, people is not genuine. No matter how good they look, no matter how entertaining it might be, nah, they just bro. not genuine. And I'm like, man, what do I do, bro? Because I don't want any, because listen, That's like I said, I'm following these people. Nigga said do a flip. <laughs> Y'all are funny. That's really tough. That's exactly why. He even said it. I find it funny. Think about this. I find it funny how... The whole reason why him and Royalty stopped talking was because he was trying to make connections and stuff like that and network and stuff like that. Now he's talking about keeping his circle small. Y'all have to understand one thing. When you make it, you know what I'm saying, and you're putting yourself in positions where people become, people become, or you're easily accessible to people, it becomes a sticky situation. That's why I can understand him just wanting to be in the crib with his family. All he did was make family content all of the time. That's all he did. And I respect that 100% because that was really his, like, his, you know what I'm saying? His circle, his family was his nutshell. And that's what kept them popping. But it's like, now you over here messing with different girls. You got one girl trying to set you up and break you up with your, at, with your, with royalty, your baby mom. And now you got this girl trying to scam you. And then you got your hairdresser trying to set you up. With it. Like, it's just too much, bro. You got to keep your circle very small, my boy. I told you to. Yeah. Do not scammed. I'm just telling you right now. Why she in jail? That's her baby. Ain't got nothing to do with me. She yeah. had old drama. He called back up with it. But I'm going to tell you this. The universe is real. The universe will provide. That's all I can say. When you messing with people that actually believe in the law of attraction, that believe in God, that pray every day, and you're doing, you know, childish things like that, it's going to come back on you and it might happen real fast. That's all I can say. Now you calling me from jail, crying, how much you sorry. What the heck I'm gonna do for you? It's weird out here in these streets, bro. Now I'm like, dang. I sat on the phone with you all night. I'm like, I realized that even though I might not have been happy some of the time, at least I ain't have to worry about getting scammed by you. Mm -hmm. That's really crazy. These little kids out here is crazy. They like, they worse than the trolls in the comment section. Trolls in the comment section, I don't care. But in real life, when you like popping up and you trying to scam, like that's that's, that's tough. Like, what do you mean? You gonna risk your life for a couple dollars? I gotta learn how to be by myself. I'm gonna start paying y'all. Yeah, I need to learn how to be by myself because Ugh. it's really crazy out here. And then it's like people want to get around me and put me in a situation where I end up causing harm to somebody because I, you know, what I'm supposed to do is let people step on me. I don't understand, bro. I need to go see a counselor right now. Because this is really weird. Like I was saying, Nike way better. Nike ain't never, ever did nothing like that to me, bro. 
Royalty ain't never did nothing like that to me, bro. So me leaving, going to the town, and caused me to let my family leave. And I didn't brought some strangers on my on my page, strangers in my life, in my house. And they over here plotting on me behind the scenes. Literally just said I that, man. Kiara, and Kiara get mad and start talking to Tata because I dumped Tata, so she's obviously mad. And now they both planning on plotting. It's really, really crazy out here. I want you guys to understand. I don't know. A lot of y'all probably already up on game. You don't trust people. But me, I wasn't up, up on game. game bro. I, mean, I was very naive. I trusted people with me. I'm up on game. That's not even a question. That's not even a question. There was one time Shorty, this one girl tried to set me up. After that, I never trusted a girl ever again, bro. One girl tried to set me up. I never trusted a girl after that, bro. Letting people be around me and I'm trusting on people to not do me dirty. And then they behind the scenes really trying to get me. Like, really trying to get me. It's cold out here in these streets, bro. It's really cold out here. Like, my heart is getting so cold. And it's like, I'm such a nice person. I don't even want to be that person. But I look at people like they really should be looked at. I look at people like, like they're me. Like they're nice. But it's like, whoa, bro. Stop trusting everybody, man. I'm letting y'all know right here, right now. Just because somebody look good, don't mean you can trust them. So fuck. Just because. I don't know why you, you over here reiterating yourself, bro. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you fuck with the bag. You met two girls who try to play you, but check me out. I'm gonna end this video right here, okay? Your boy CJ So Cool is down bad, okay? Once you once you lose your shorty, once you lose your... Let me not even say a shorty, but once you lose, like, somebody who is there to support you, once you lose that support system, it's a different type of energy that you have when you're walking around trying to make money and stuff like that. Everything that he's doing, he's still making money, he's still making connections, he's still making content. But it's not the same. So he tries to fill the voids with these little girls. And this is what happens. He gets scammed. But look, man. I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you do the like down below and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.